Lightning Jack, and I switched over to a kitten distress, no bobcats. We're gonna head off, go to the coyote place, and see if we can get one of those coyotes to come in. Okay, day number two, hunting in the snow. I'm gonna go try to call some coyotes in. I'm hunting by myself again. I, I done this uh, day before yesterday. I couldn't get on them with the camera and the rifle at the same time, but I'm gonna go do it again because I've invited everybody I know and everybody's got normal schedules and can't hunt with me. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Set number one, called in two coyotes. Can't get a shot off and film them at the same time when they come in from where they're not supposed to come in from. Dang it. The wind's blowing like this. I figured anywhere they come from, they would end up over here. And they come in, come from the hard left over here where I kind of expect them to, but I thought they would make their way downwind. And I guess they could, they, they probably seen me move a little bit. As I turned to look over, I seen one out there and it actually barked at me a few times and it just took off. Then a little small pup followed it out of here. So, <sighs> filming by yourself, man, it's tough. Uh, we'll see what happens. Head to the next spot. <sighs> Dang it. Just got through calling set number two, and I see a coyote out there probably 800 yards away running away, so maybe it got down to this bottom and winded me. So I hit coyote locator, and there's coyotes howling every direction from me. I don't know if the audio's picking that up, but it's crazy.
set number three. Got this coyote come across this wide open field. It's a good little set right here. Got the wind in my face. There's no way they could win me on this spot. By myself, finally got it done. I've been doing this for two days and I've called in, I don't know, probably seven or eight coyotes in the last two days. <laughs> finally got one on camera. So anyway, let's go take a look at him. Well, here's my coyote, just a young female. Uh, pretty ecstatic that I got it all on film by myself and shot her. Like I said, I've been doing this for two days and I've called in several coyotes and I haven't really got it done yet. And this is the first one. So I'm gonna get this one back to the truck and move on to some more sets and see what happens. Uh, this one came right in that pup distress. That's my favorite call of all, of all the sounds on Fox Pro. Thank you, Lord, for getting me on this coyote. Thank you, coyote, for putting on a show and we'll see you at the next set. <laughs> Let's go hunting. <laughs> Daddy shot that coyote, let's go hunting? Yeah. He could probably tell you the whole story, but I'll I'll fill in what he didn't fill in. This is the second day in a row I've been out trying to call coyotes in the snow. It's kind of a rarity to have snow in Oklahoma, at least where I'm from. I called in, geez, I think four or five coyotes, and this is the only one I could actually get on camera and shoot. So uh, I think I'll put the camera down for a little while and, and wait till I can get a cameraman. What do we tell Jesus? Tell Jesus. Everything. We tell Jesus everything? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right, thank Jesus for everything we got. Thank him for a good hunt. Thanks for watching Full Circle Outdoors. Hit that like button, subscribe, share it with your buddies, and uh, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.